A good win over Missouri gives the UK women's basketball program its 700th win in program history. Welcome into the show. I'm Christy Thomas alongside Coach Mitchell. Coach, that's quite a milestone for the program, and you have been here for 158 of those wins. Not bad. Well, it was an exciting win to get. You know, Christy, it was such a tough game going in. We had coming in on a downer after losing at South Carolina. I thought Missouri was really coming in uh, with a lot of energy after a big win over Georgia. And uh, they started out hot, really got uh, out to a good start. Uh, we're up 24-16. We finally called a timeout. And from that point on, I thought our team settled in. Uh, Janae Thompson came out of uh, that timeout and really hit a great pull-up jumper. And uh, Jennifer O'Neill hit a three-pointer right after that. And from that point on, it was 64-45 us the rest of the way and really got control of the game and played a fantastic uh, final 30 minutes or so of the basketball game. Bria Goss was really good for you in this one. She was outstanding, especially in the second half when we needed uh, some spark. She really provided that, uh, made a three that really was big for us. Uh, she's able to get to the line, 10 for 10 at the line. Those are important points for us. And so really, really happy for her. We were without Castine and Bernice in that game. So I thought that Bernice, uh, Bria would have to play well. And she certainly did, stepped up in a big way, took two real big charges against their best players. So Bria had an outstanding game. 20 points for her. Then Samari Walker had her sixth double-double of the season. 10 points, 13 boards, 80 to 69 was the final. Coach, you mentioned that Castine Evans did not play. How is she doing? She's doing a lot better, just needed to calm down a, a leg injury that she's had and she really uh, I think is bouncing back nicely from that. We look forward to seeing her back on the court. Well she's a beast on the boards and continues to churn out double doubles for this program and this week she's on Coach Mitchell's 30 second shot clock. 30 second shot clock this week. Welcome in everybody. It's a time on our show where you get to meet one of the Wildcats and I'm with one of our best Senior, I can't believe I'm saying that. <laughs> senior post player from West Carrollton, Ohio, Samari Walker. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I can't believe this is your senior season. I can't either, honestly. It is flying by. It is. Well, one of the reasons you came to Kentucky was to be close to your family, and they're just a short drive away. And tell us a little bit about them and what makes them so special. Um, I love my family a lot. We've always been very close knit. Um, I have a little brother who is eight now, and he looks up to me a lot. So just being close to him and having him be able to come down here. How is tall great. is he now? He said he's five two. He looks like he's growing a bunch, right? He is. And he your is. mom's so nice. She uh, called me on my birthday. Did she? Oh, I love your mom, your dad. They're good, good <laughs> folks. So great. it's been fun being close to them yes. in college. Yes. Well, you have grown so much as a player. You. Uh, are getting ready to transition from college to professional basketball. What do you think you've grown and how's your game improved at Kentucky? I think the most that has uh, been productive for me is the mental aspect of the game. I've always been very physically tough, but um, the mental aspect has been a progress for me. So you've made some progress in that area? I think so, yes. Yeah, you'll be ready to go and play. You excited about that part of your career? I am. I'm not looking to it right now. Yeah. Just trying to focus on this, but I'm very excited for that's it. A good, that's a good answer. Now, <laughs> last thing now, what I have noticed about you is you have a passion for fashion. I do. Talk to me a little bit about it. What do you, first of all, could you critique my style? Do you think I have a good style? Where can I make some improvements? You've done a lot better. You have, oh my goodness, Sunday. Really? Do we play on Sunday? Yeah, we played last Sunday. You looked really nice. Thank you. You, you thought that was stylish. Yeah, you got that tailored suit on. I saw it. What about my shoe game? Oh, those fair gums nice. Oh my gracious, thank Killing you so them. much. I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> we, 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 we will just continue to be passionate about our fashion around yes. here. But you're looking to make a career of that. I am, I'm looking to be a wardrobe stylist after this, so hopefully that works out. It will, it will. You thank just you. keep working hard like you thank have you. at Kentucky and great things will happen. This is Samari Walker, I'm Coach Mitchell. That's the 30 second shot clock. Coach Samari has continued to be such an excellent rebounder for you. Yes, yeah, she's done a great job for us on the court. But what I liked about that segment is that she's talking about her growth off the court. And she really has done a lot of maturing as a person uh, that I think that will really help her as she leaves us. But uh, on the court, she's been incredible. She's been a double-double machine this year, and we're really, really fortunate she came to Kentucky. Absolutely, we are, and very proud of uh, how she's progressing and what she's doing on and off the court. Well, coming up, there's some controversy brewing with the Matthew Mitchell Show. Young Niche and Coach will try to hash that out on the Guitar Tip of the Week. That's next. The Matthew Mitchell Show is brought to you by Paul Miller Ford, by Window World, by McDonald's, 
by Kennedy's Wildcat Band, by Central Bank, by the Kentucky Office of Highway Safety, by P-Rats, by Safe Light Auto Glass, by UK Healthcare, and by Commonwealth Credit Union. Of the guitar tip of the week. I am your host, Coach Matthew Mitchell. Join me by the by the iconical, the emboldened, the infusive, the insightful, and the incredible shooting guard from our nation's capital, Bernice Pinkett. Young niece, how you doing? I'm doing fine, Coach. Young niece, uh, the 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 question this week. Yeah, you, know, you know the game show that's sweeping the nation. Yeah. Ask young niece, mm -hmm. you're, you're familiar with this game show? I am. It's from our buddy Jim in Moorhead. He comes to all the games. He says, Young Niche, what do you attribute the wild swings in our weather lately? One day it's zero degrees. The next day it's 50 degrees. What is going on? No. On to the shout outs to Luke. In Anchorage, Alaska. Luther, we sorry we missed you the last couple weeks. You're such a faithful viewer. To Kathy Kessler in Trustful, Alabama, who is a devoted UK Hoops fan. To Hugh and Carol Jones in Crestwood, Kentucky, who say hello to Coach Mitchell and the young one. They are also devoted UK Hoops fans. To Sherry O'Donnelly in Paducah, Kentucky, who says, Go on, young niece. You are really feeling it this year on Guitar Tip of the Week. What does that mean? Where does she want you to go to when she's saying, Go on, young niece? I have no clue. Well, she says you are feeling it and that all the fans of the MM show will miss you next year. She also says, I found this to be interesting. She also says she can't find the show on TV. That she has to watch it on YouTube. I thought we had a TV show here. I don't understand. Are we actually on TV or is this just an internet uh, deal? Because if it's an internet deal, we can start really spicing things up here a little bit. But if it's on television, we got to keep it clean for the families. What, where do you watch it? On the internet or on TV? I don't watch the show. You don't watch the show? I don't. This show's made you a, a national television superstar, and you don't watch the show? No. This is an outrageous. I don't even know if we're on the show. If a TV show's on and no one's in the room, does it make a sound? Take it away, young niece. To me, Mal Strauss and Lexington, Kentucky. Why won't you go out and see me, Mal, after the games? Will you please start going out and seeing me, Mal, after the games? I will next okay. game. Okay, thank you. To Lisa Raymond, who gets a shout-out from her friend Brittany. Brittany says, Lisa, you are an awesome musician and a sweet-spirited woman. Rock on, chick. Rock on! Rock on, chick! To Masha and Dennis and Rock Hickson. on, chick! I may start saying that to you in practice. Continue. To Masha and Dennis and Hicks in Tennessee who say they love watching young Nisha and Coach Mitchell each and every week. And to everybody's favorite, Uncle Bobby and Aunt Kay in Gallatin, Tennessee. And the t-shirt clearly this week. We love, first of all, we love everybody's favorite uncle in uh, Bobby and Aunt Kay. The t-shirt clearly goes to Sherry O'Donnelly in Paducah, Kentucky. She's having to go on that internet to watch the, the, the show. So you get the t-shirt. You see that Facebook page? I do. No, you don't. If you want a t-shirt, you write into that Facebook page. That's Young Nation. I'm Coach Mitchell. And that's the Guitar Tip of the Week. When the cats get injured, there's one person that's working overtime to get them back on the court. Coach will tell you all about her when we head into the Big Blue Cat Corner. The Big Blue Cat Corner, brought to you by McGee's Bakery in downtown Lexington since 1956. Welcome, everyone, to Big Blue Cat Corner. We're excited to be joined today by our head athletic trainer, Courtney Jones. Courtney, how are you? I'm good, thank you, Coach. Thanks for being on the show with us. We appreciate it a bunch. Courtney uh, is such a great part of our staff, and uh, has it been six years now? Five years. Five years, five years. I, I think that it has been a wonderful five years. We've had a lot of success, and you're a big part of that. Talk to us a little bit about athletic training and, and how many people we have here at Kentucky taking care of our athletes. Well, Coach, athletic training is very important to our athletes. Um, it's the primary way that our athletes stay healthy and stay on the field or stay on the court. Um, at the University of Kentucky, we have 18 certified athletic trainers to take care of 
all of our different sports. Yeah, we have a lot of great athletes here, and as it relates to women's basketball, that your your responsibility with us, a lot of people think of it as you're just there when something major happens. I'd really like to talk today a little bit about your day-to-day -day activity and and how you support our athletes uh, in women's basketball. Well, Coach, I am their first step to any type of medical care. So anywhere our athletes are, our women's basketball team is, I'm there. Whether it's lifting or running or travel or practice, um, I see them on a day-to-day -day basis um, and I manage their overall health and their ability to play every day, which is important um, for the style of play that we have. It's very um, uh, active and physical mm -hmm. and it takes its toll on their bodies. So. Pretty much a 40 hour a week job for you, right? Nine mm -hmm. to five, just punch in. You don't have any yes. extra hours or anything, right? Oh, no. This is the thing no. that amazes me about Courtney. You, you work as hard as anybody around here and our athletes really benefit from it. And as you say, our style of play is so physical and active, they certainly need to be healthy. Mm -hmm. Well, we appreciate everything that you do, Courtney. You do a great job in athletic training and we're glad Courtney was with us today on the Big Blue Cat Corner. What's the next best thing to Matthew Mitchell? Find out next as we head into the coach's kitchen. UK Athletics is still making great strides in building a successful comprehensive athletic program. This could not have been achieved without support of the fans, donors, and sponsors. UK Athletics and UK IMG Sports Marketing wish to extend this special thank you to our following official corporate partners. McDonald's, Central Bank, Coca-Cola, Gatorade, Kentucky Farm Bureau, Kroger, Nike, and Papa John's. Welcome in everybody. It's another edition of the Coach's Kitchen. I am your host, Hall of Fame chef, Coach Matthew Mitchell, joined by world's greatest chef, my beautiful wife, Jenna, how are you? Doing well. Boy, the fan mail's pouring in and it's not looking pretty <laughs> for the coach. Not looking pretty for the coach. A lot of negativity yep. swirling around the kitchen. Swirling around the kitchen. Because why? You talk too much. I talk too much. There was a song about that uh, back when I was in high school. You talk too much. <laughs> oh boy, you never shut up. You remember that one? Of course, you're a little bit younger than me, so yeah. maybe you don't remember that one. But uh, it really is starting to become hurtful. People talk about it. Can't hear Jenna. Can't hear this. Can't hear that. Too much Matthew going on. So this week, you know what I'm going to do? Because it's Jenna's Kitchen, and they want to hear Jenna talk. Honey, about I don't know. You obviously don't watch the show, although you are so obsessed with yourself that you do sit down and you will critique every single episode. That's it's not called true. The Coach's Kitchen. It's not Jenna's Kitchen. Oh, I thought that was it's a typo. The Coach's Kitchen. So that's why I naturally I thought that you wanted to hear me talk, but you don't. So this week, I'm stepping out of the way, and I'm not saying a word about anything, and we'll just see how this goes. Yeah. So, Jenna, I what's think. going on in Jenna's kitchen this week? Okay, we have a, a wonderful dessert that my mom always made growing up, and we used to call it, you're about, you want to talk, I can sense it, but um, you're going to not talk, remember? Uh, we used to call it the next best thing to Robert Redford, and then it was the next best thing to Brad Pitt. Now it's the next best thing to Matthew Mitchell. Wait a minute. The, 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 the next best You're thing talking. to Matthew Mitchell. How can I not talk? The dish okay. is named after me. Now, we know that Robert Redford okay. was just an absolute heartthrob there in the 1970s. Uh, yes. He was a little bit long in the tooth by the time I really was exposed to him, 1984, in the natural. Very good picture there. Brad Pitt, uh, I think the hair has grown too long at times. I'm, I'm impressed that this dish is named after me, clean cut, clearly a, a very high profile uh, star, television star, and media throb. star, and, and a heart throb, throb, of course. So yes. this is appropriately named. Okay. What's the first step? Um, the first step is one cup of chopped pecans, one cup of flour, and one stick of butter. One cup of chopped Shh, pecans. Matthew, you're talking. Okay, one cup yeah. of flour. Yes. One stick of butter. I thought that we yeah. wanted to be more um, uh, uh, a recipe centric okay, in the that episode. Good. Okay. So you mix that together and throw it in the oven, 350 degree oven for 15 minutes and let it cool. So we've done that. That looks the, beautiful. The second layer is one small container of Cool Whip. Oh my gracious, of Cool Whip? Of Cool Whip. Or Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool, one, cool. 
one Full ounce whip. container of cream cheese. Right, one ounce container of cream cheese. This and, is all very exciting. And then one cup of sugar is optional. I much, don't, much better than me talking, right? I don't talking like to about, add the um, sugar. Why don't you like to add the sugar? Because it's more calories. I don't think it needs it. But when I wasn't looking, my mom put it in. Well, what are you, are you, are you trying to watch a figure or something? Yes. Yeah. Well, I think your figure's looking all right to me, and uh, I think you should use the sugar. What's the next step? Uh, second step is um, one package of instant Man, that's good right there. vanilla pudding, one package of chocolate pudding, mm. and three cups of uh, milk. Bananas, do you know bananas are the most popular fruit in North Matthew, America? You you've got to put them but on nicely. But it's one of the fruits on. that this fruit is not grown in North America. It is imported. Over four million bananas uh, imported and uh, not grown here. Came from the jungles of Asia, we think, is where the banana originated. And it's uh, it's North America's most popular fruit. Oh boy, we gotta we gotta try this okay. real quick. Okay. Well, no, I'm not done. You, and then uh, the well, you gotta hurry up. Next it's 15 layer, seconds. Oh my gosh. Next layer is just cool whip. Cool whip. So you should let me talk this week. And then um, you see that Facebook page. Oh my gosh. And <laughs> then you finish it off. No, with you don't. Chopped pecans. No, you don't. Chop pecans. We're not gonna have time for that. And, we're, and look, you just put the chopped pecans on there. Yeah. Let me taste it. Mm. It is really yum, and then you want to um, oh put gosh. it in the refridge, or refrigerator to. Uh, we want to fridge it, uh, refrigerate it overnight. Do you see that? Or Facebook? an hour is fine. Do you see that Facebook page? I do. No, you don't. If you want to check in with us on the coach's kitchen, see how you get this next best thing to Matthew Mitchell. Check it out, and that's the coach's kitchen for this week. What are we going to tell the good folks? We'll see you next week. Coming up, Coach turns his attention to the paint. He begins showing you the first step to being a good post player. The Coach's Tip of the Week is next. With first for our McDonald's Fast Break of the Week, it's the Cats hosting Missouri. Denisha Stallworth with the deflection. That leads to a two-on-one with Janae Thompson and Jen O'Neill. Jen keeps it and gets the lay-in to go. Two of her 11 as Kentucky wins at 80-69. to the University of Kentucky Athletics program has experienced tremendous growth in the past few years. This could not have been accomplished without the support of our official benchmark sponsors. We would like to say thanks to each of the following. Gearhart Communications, Paul Miller Ford, P-Rats, Townhomes at Newtown Crossing, and Window World. Coach's Tip of the Week this week. Welcome in, everybody. It's a time in our show where we help our younger viewers become better players. I'm joined by senior post player, Samari Walker. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. We're going to start a three-week series on post play. And the first thing that we want to talk to you about, if you're a, a post player or a guard that gets to post up on your team, just about how do you get position in the post and how important your stance is in being a good post player. So as Samari uh, is coming and approaching the defense, the first thing she wants to do as a good post player is make some contact and then get down in a good stance. So we talk about a stance all the time with defense, offense. Here on offense, it's important for her to be in a good stance and able to make herself very wide and tough to guard, all right? So if she's standing straight up with a narrow stance, she doesn't have much power and she can't create any space for her to operate. So the first thing is a post player, always think about sitting down, showing your numbers, 10 toes to the ball, really setting yourself up for a big target and that's important. Now, once you catch the ball, the ball gets fed into you. You don't want the ball, you see how Samari has it nice and high up around her chin. You don't want the ball around here because the little guards can come in here and start bothering you there. You always want to get a nice wide base 
place there. We call this chinning the basketball. So very, very important. And so once you've established a nice wide base and now you've caught the ball, how do you know which way to go in the post? Always think about where's your advantage. If you, wherever you feel the pressure, you're going to step away from that pressure here. This time she would go baseline with the shot. If the pressure is on the outside playing, now she can drop step into the middle of the floor. And so your stance is very important. The where you catch it and chin it's very important. And then being able to feel pressure and then move away from that, that's going to help you be a better post player. That's the coach's tip of the week. Coach, once again, the conference is really taking some focus on the Pat Summit Foundation. The We Back Pat game is coming up for Kentucky on January 23rd against Alabama. It is, and we are behind this effort to raise awareness and raise funds for Alzheimer's. And, and so many of us know people just like I do with Coach Summit uh, that are affected by this disease. So we really want to get behind the cause and raise a lot of money and bring a lot of awareness to this issue on uh, that Alabama game. Be sure to come out to Memorial Coliseum and support the team January 23rd. It's We Back Pat as the Cats take on Alabama. That does it for us. For Coach Mitchell, I'm Christy Thomas. We'll see you same time, same place next week. The Matthew Mitchell Show was brought to you by Commonwealth Credit Union, by UK Healthcare, by Safe Light Auto Glass, by P Rats, by the Kentucky Office of Highway Safety, by Central Bank, by Kennedy's Wildcat Bin, by McDonald's, by Window World, and by Paul Miller Ford.